नमस्ते जी नमस्ते नमस्ते गुड मॉर्निंग नमस्ते हाँ जी योग शुरू करते हैं ठीक है हाँ हाँ नमस्ते नमस्ते सीधा बैठते हैं बैक स्ट्रेट हो और तीन बार ओम का ध्यान लगाते हैं ठीक है गहरा सांस अंदर डीप ब्रेथ इन एज यू ब्रीथ इन एब्जोर्व द यूनिवर्सल एनर्जी फील इट इन साइड कमिंग एंड व्हेन यू एक्साइड मेक श्योर आई कंसंट्रेट ऑन द ओम स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम डाउन मिडिल अप वाचिक उपांसिक मानसिक बाय द फेट फेज ऑफ इट ठीक शांति 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 ठीक है आसन आसन ठीक पहले चक्की आसन साथ साथ में वन फिर टुगेदर Hold them together. Go clockwise three times, and three times anti-clockwise. Pachimuttanasan, hands above your neck, shoulders touch your toes. Okay, so minimum three times. If you have more times in the week, you can do it more times. Open your legs to the right, three times again to the left, three times. Now pull your legs up. Hands, left one, same thing. Now support your back. Straight your ankles here. Yeah? So ankle exercise. Good morning. Clockwise three times. Anti-clockwise three times. Spread your legs. Push your left in out. The ankles. The good exercises for you. Ankles, huh? A lot of people as they grow older have a lot of problems with ankles and wrists. Okay, so do it every day. It will help you. Clockwise and clockwise. Come out now. Specific targeted exercises. Pella, mula dha chakra ke liye. Reserve of energy sits all at the level of root chakra. So this ankle on your left knee, push your right knee towards the ground as much as you can, and then try and bring it to your nose three times. Now hold in your lap and then move. So we are pressuring the muladhar chakra. So asanas. Learn these asan exercises with mindfulness, meaning whatever I talk, you are concentrating on to it. My disfocus on what you are doing is very helpful actually for energy balancing in your body. So now left side, same thing. It's rhythmic. It's mindful. It helps. Your movement of energy upwards, okay. So from Muladhar to Swadhisthana, Swadhisthana to Manipur, Manipur to Anahat, okay. So now this exercise is helpful for Swadhisthana. So your 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 thighs, okay, thighs exercise. So a lot of these exercises are done by people, but they are not. Aware or knowledgeable or focused, they're listening to some rock music or something else. Their mind is away. The effectiveness 
will be left. So doing it in this manner is it's, you are more aware of it. So it's so ex exercise. That's why any exercise you do is very helpful. But if you want to get maximum benefit, you need to understand your sufsham sharir, your karam sharir, eh? your subtle body, in an internal body needs to be involved with what you are doing. So this this that's why asans are important as well, actually. So doing titli asan is opening your thighs, moves, balances your self in terms of your sensual perceptions. What you eat, drink, how you're addicted to things, slowly will not matter. For most people, they don't have control, yeah? They're addicted to things. It comes Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and they have this, and only thing they know, eat, drink, and these kind of things, that's how they think they are enjoying life. Okay, so now next one is Manipur. Manipur is near the belly button. So, touch your left side, then your right side, go back. Do you do that clockwise? And then go anti clockwise, same thing. So, if your survival level, your sensual level, which is a common thing across all mammals, is you uh, have balanced it, then Manipur, Asan, you have more energy for it. So progress happens in life materially in anything and everything that you want to do. But if those you live only on the lower ones and no wonder why 80% of the world remains poor even after working for 60 years, they still haven't made anything in life. It's not surprising because the whole thing is concentrated downwards. You really didn't progress. You were slave to your senses. You became slave to your work and the senses take all your money away. So the problem is that from 80%, more than 80% of the population of the world, 20% progress, 20% become free of mortgages, free of all these stresses of life. Okay? So Manipur then becomes additive. And if Manipur is, which means you materially, you are wealthy enough to spare money, for good cause, so anaha, anaha. The same will be shuddhi. So these exercises on the top, these ones are helpful to your chest, your immune system, your reaction time, your brain activity, neuronal functions, and it keeps going up. And then breathing exercise comes and takes over. And then meditation finally for the really, really brahman. The understanding ke liye, you need to meditate. Okay. So that's some of the exercises. Now, if you can do Padmasa, so keep trying it. Trying is the only way to get this thing sorted out. Oh. <clears throat> Padmasa. Yes, yeah, so we can lift self as well. And then go on the four. Up, 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 up. One, two, three, four, five. <coughs> so this is good for your biceps, yeah? back muscles. So you need to do those ones too. Lie down. Put your legs up. Put it five degrees. One, two. Three, four, five, just to flow. Back up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, just to flow. Back up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Right. Move your legs high. Open up. Up. Down. Now. Lo haldasan, halasan. Push your, push your legs all the way back. One. Try a few times. One. One more. And shoulder step. Sarvagasa. One. Open. 
Paul Mutas, Paul Lunis, put it to your face, one, two, three, change side, one, two, three, both knees together, one, two, three, four, five, now push yourself up and down, and down, yes, 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 now right side, yeah. Left side, yes. Right side, what? Side, yeah, side to your tummy. Yes, feel it. Feel the stretch. stretching yourself. Now, Matsushasan, pull your ankles to your side. One, two, three. Push much more. One, two, three. Now, Chakrasan, Dhanushasan, pull yourself. Push up, up, up. Support your neck. Ankles are together, knees are together. Twist your body. Makarasan. Right side. And then left side. Right side. Left side. Some more. Right side. Left side. Okay. Now, put your ankle on your right knee. Variation of Makarasan. Stretch more. One, two, three, four, five. Same side. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, both asan, both. Now basan. One, two, three, four, five. Come up. Sit. Into Gomukasan. Gomuk. Push your right leg in and try and sit on the right ankle while your left. Leg is above your right knee. Yo. Right elbow is pushing behind your right knee. Look at the back. One, two, three. Extend your head as much as you get. One, two, three, four, five. Now try and hold your fingers on the back. On the left, on the top. One, two, three, four, five. And one, two, three. Change side, right ankle over left knee. You try and sit on the left ankle. Push. The third, look back. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Now this time, right hand from the up, left from the back. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, very helpful exercise there. Yeah? Just sitting in the position makes it. There's so much stretch from the toes right to the head. Now, grounding exercise is very important. Okay, to tap the sole of your feet. You can press, if you can walk on the ground for a few minutes even, it's very helpful. Okay, the same need to Connect to the earth and the sole of your feet. Looking on the ground is very helpful. Otherwise, just try and tap it. These exercises press their hands. Okay, so you can feel the energy here, yeah? but these vibrations here, yeah? you can feel it yourself. So press and then each of the fingers. Do as a, make a habit of it. So you're Whenever you get time, you can do this. There's no side effect. All side effects are good. Okay, so just a bit of massage, a bit of tapping, becoming quite quite a big thing now. A lot of studies are being done on these things. You look at how it helps your body. Okay, and then press your radial artery, then balancing your Agni Chakra. Right side, and then left side, and then just use this muscles of your hand to tap around your head. Okay, so your these are the sinuses here. So press around them. Go on the back. 
So 80%, 90% of the stress sits around these muscles, okay? The eyeball, your cheek, your chin, from the top here, to the sides. Okay, you learn how to press this. You get a lot of energy as well. Apart from removing the strain and stress, if you press on here, you get a lot of energy. Okay, so breathe in, make a fist, put on the right armpit, breathe into the right nostril, out to the left. Inside, right, armpit over left. So, breathe into the left. Out to the right. Okay, so keeping your nostrils open helps your metabolism, a lot of your digestive processes, okay, keeping your nostrils open. All right, so exercise done. Now we'll do exercises facing. Downwards, so you can do either the plank or you can do push up, whatever feels okay. So I'll do 100 push ups. Let's do it. Start exercises to facing downwards. <clears throat> Okay, lie down flat, push your hands upwards and legs downwards. One, two, three, four, five. Right? And de stresses your muscles very quickly. Holding your chin or resting your chin, push your legs towards yourself. Push. Push your legs towards yourself. Now, Sarapas, hold your hands together. Legs together, move your body side to side. Pull our hands by side, leave it legs up. One, two, three, four, five. Press the ground back up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Just the floor. Back up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, forty, fifteen. Now push your ankles to the system. Both of them. Lift yourself up with the breath. Out. In. Out. <sighs> Hold it. One, two. Four, five. Go to the right side, left, right side, left, right side, left. Now, hold your left very right leg with your left fingers and pull as much as you can, twisting your body. One, two, three, four, five. Change side. One, two, three, four, five. Now, lift yourself by balancing your right leg this way. One, two, three, four, five. Change the leg. One, two, three, four, five. Now, further balancing yourself on one knee. One, two, three, four, five. Change the side. One, two, three, four, five. Push your right leg inside. Extend your left. Leg and right hand. One, two, three, four, five. Tuck, tuck, through. Stand side. Squeeze your body here. Yeah? Squeeze as much as you can. Push. One, two, three, four, five. 
Turn your four, breathe in as you go down, breathe out as you come up, and hold the breath and move your tummy clockwise, then empty clockwise. Up. Again, in, out, empty clockwise. In, clockwise. In, Butterfly. Child pose, push, stretch one, two, three, four, five. Namaste. Opposite one, no, on the back. Hold it, your fingers together. Go down one, two, three, four, five. Virasan. So on your knees, push yourself back as far back as possible. One, two, three, four. Five. Now sit on your ankle, push further. One, two, three, four, five. All the way. Down, down, down. One, two, three, four, five. Up. Mandukasan. Oh, sorry. Yeah, Mandukasan. Sitting in the Vajrasan. Fingers together at your. Belly button, breathe out and go down. One, two, three, four, five. Breathe in, put more pressure at the belly button, go down. One, two, three, four, five. Change side. Press. One, two, three, four, five. Along your thighs at the level of belly button near the kidneys. Press, go down. Okay, exercises for your eyes. Get your hands, look at the right side. Next step, one, two, three, four, five. On the left, one, two, three, four, five. Go diagonal upwards, one, two, three, four, five. Left way downwards, one, two, three, four, five. Up, left hand upwards, one, two, three, four, five. Right hand downward, one, two, three, four, five. Horizontal right side, one, two, three, four, five. Left side, one, three, four, five. Hands on your thighs, look far away. Then keep off your nose, far away. Keep off your nose, far away. Then keep off your nose. Go clockwise, 12, 3. Six nine twelve three six nine twelve three six nine twelve go anti clockwise twelve nine three six twelve nine three six twelve nine three six exercise for your neck gradual one clockwise slow slowly and anti clockwise slowly slow slow exercise for your wrist we did for ankles and we do for your wrist every day like this. Yeah. Exercise, just gradual. Be, be rhythmic, be symmetrical, both sides. All these things, you don't have to be very aggressive. Your weight of your body is good enough. This amount of exercise is good enough. You don't have to do too much. Yeah. Your mind is actually even more has power. If your mind is set, you can exercise your body with your mind. Okay? The best athletes of the world, best players, they use the mind in the end to make the difference between others. So physically, you can only go to that level. Okay? So use your mind. Tune yourself, your body with your mind. So yoga helps you do that. Yoga yes, for fusion. So your body, mind, even your soul gets connected. Ah, okay. So on your tummy, <clears throat> like this. Right now we'll lift ourselves up. We're standing up, sense, like that. 
Lift yourself without help. Okay, very good, very good so far. Now we do stand up. Okay, let's breathe in and out. In, out, in, out. Stretch your hands in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out. Let's jump. Please, your heart rate. You can go down like this as well. Lift yourself down, up, down, up. Exercise for your knees, clockwise, anti clockwise, pelvic area, go clockwise, anti clockwise. Okay. Hmm. Okay, now. Exercises, first one is three pose, Brichasa. Go up, up, up. One, two, three, four, five. One leg. One, two, three, four, five. Opposite side, balance, balancing. One, two, three, four, five. Warrior pose, go to two sides. One, two, three. Push yourself up. One, two, three. Try and balance if you can balance. One, two, three, four, five. Change side. One, two, three. Push yourself up. One, two, three. And then if you can lift. Leg and balance one, two, three. Okay, now I have tender namaskar. So, do three corn. Oh, you bring the opposite. <coughs> yeah, the three corn. Go down, touch right ankle with your right fingers. Look at the left fingers up. One, two. Three, bring it down, and both hands together, go down, lift yourself up, one, two, three, four, five, breathe in and come up, and sit on your right ankle, one, two, three, four, five, change side, left side, three core, this have left, leg is, left hand is down, look at the fingers on the top, down, both hands, bend your knee, come up, one, two, Five, and then sit on your left ankle this time. One, two, three, four, five. Come up, stretch your step furthermore. Stretch and straight. Pop up. Now, we'll do Surya Namaskar. Okay, so before that, let's do Anjali pose. This is the Anjali pose. And then in that, go down. Okay. Balance yourself, hold your ears up, down, up, down, up, down and curl, hold it in malasan. One, two, three, four, five. <clears throat> okay, nice and good. Right, now end up end with Surya Namaskar. Okay, so expressing gratitude every morning, wake up. Look at the sun, look at the world, look at the family, look at the your pets, your neighbors, express gratitude, say thank you. Yeah? So Surya Namaskar, that way is very helpful. It makes you express gratitude and gratitude is very powerful, it gives you grace. So breathe in, breathe in and out, go up, up, breathe in and out, touch your toes, breathe in and out, put your right leg straight. In and out in the plank position. In and out, asthan. Chin, knee, and toes are touching. Lift yourself, bhujangasar. Now, mountain pose. Push yourself like this. Right leg up, followed by left. Push your left leg in. Straighten yourself. Breathe out. All the way back where you started. Now, to stand from the left side, breathe in, out. In, out, 
and then stretch yourself, straighten yourself, plank, bhujang asan, asan the bhujang, left leg, followed by right side, push your right leg in, up, up all the way. So we've done the one cycle, two more cycles to do same way. Start again from the right side, breathe in, if you get cut off, we doing okay, breathe in and out, in and out, right leg, straighten, plank, pastangasan, bhujang, parvatasan, right followed by left, up to your left leg, in, up, go to the left side, breathe in, and out, in, and out, straighten, plank, pastang, bhujang, parvat, left, slide, right, in, up. Go back to the right side. Last cycle. Breathe in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Last cycle. Go to the left side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12. Okay, so done. Very good. Now, coming towards the end of it. You can balance yourself well and good. Lift yourself up on your hands. And you can do either the shoulder stand or the head stand. So we can finish all the asanas for the exercises. Now do the head stand. And if you can't do head, just with the shoulder. We help the gravity help flow with the blood. Lift up, up, balance. Right. Okay. All right, so that was it. This time it takes you to get ready to go to the gym or drive to the gym. By then you would have finished doing your exercises. And this is head to toe. And you are doing mindfully as well. So you get double or triple the benefit as well. So it's very powerful once you get the habit of it to do properly or just make a discipline of it. Now we'll do Last phase of it is for dead man pose. Okay, so we'll rest because you've done the exercise, you need the rest. Lie down flat, hands by your side, head straight, looking up. Your eyes are closed, but your inner eye is open. You can see much more by closed eyes than open eyes. So once you learn how to open your inner eye, Nothing is out of bounds for you then. Entire universe you can see because the power of your inner eye. So, so this is for yoga nidra. So with the resting part, we'll do the yoga nidra. In the different planes of your basically survival body physiology, which works in a again 80 to 20 percent manner. 80 percent is subconscious. So we are programmed in a manner to live and we, we live that way without realizing and our ego is controlling us. We don't even know that we are slaves to our senses and our body. You have to be very careful how to make sure you are aware of who you are. So this exercise helps you become conscious and increases your understanding of your body functions. So lie flat, breathing through your nostrils, deep breath in. In, 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 watch the breath. Watch the breath as it goes through the nostrils, through your throat, into the lungs. There are 800,000 what's called alveolar spaces. Gas exchange happens. So, oxygen is taken by the hemoglobin in your blood to the heart, heart pumps it to all your body. 100 trillion cells within microseconds. Microseconds. You don't know. But being aware or conscious of it or mindful of it increases your efficiency in taking oxygen in your body. 
That's that's why it's helpful. Think again. What deep breath? So it's called pran. Pran, which is to do with the space, which is abundant, and infinite. Also, your body is ninety nine percent space. 1% only electrons, protons, and neutrons, everything is space. So once you find how to deal with the space, you get to tap into the space. Then you get abundance. Okay, so breathe again. Second breath is called upon. So breathe in, do the first one. Now second one, bring your attention to the belly button and exhale out. So exhalation, breathing out now. Concentrate on breathing out. With your closed eye, follow blood from your legs, comes to the heart, from the head, comes to the heart, from the heart to the lungs. And from the lungs, the air comes out again. Reverse cycle. So three atoms at least comes out, which is carbon dioxide, where two is oxygen. So even with in atomic formula, you can lose your weight by doing breath exercises. Okay, so if you're concentrating, your metabolism is better, you're breathing properly, you're taking out more atoms out of the body. So breath is very, very powerful. And as you'll see, when you do breathing exercise, it is harder than the physical exercise. So breathe again. The third pran is called Saman. So in, in, follow, first one, second, now third one, come to the midway point between your belly button and your chest. There is a sweat spot called Saman. Saman Pran reflects the Agni Shakti, the fire, the burning inside your body, the beauty that you get, the energy that you get is driven by this center called Saman Prana. This is reflective of the sun. So yesterday India has now gone to sun. Aditya spacecraft will land or park around 1.5 five million kilometers from Earth in a zone called Anwar, L1. From there, it can watch both Sun and Earth and simultaneously without any obstruction. So it's going to study the, what's called it? Flares of the Sun. Those sparks of light comes out, sometimes disrupts the atmosphere called the space weather. And it will do lots of understanding of how Sun works. Okay, so Sun, its energy, in the body is reflected by Saman Prana. Breathe again. Deep breath in. Again, follow the first, second, third. The fourth one, now bring your attention to the heart. It's called Udan Prana. Udan Prana reflects the fluidity of your body. Like Earth is surrounded by 70% ocean, your body has 75% fluid. The fluids are different types from your all along your spine. There's a fluid called cerebrospinal fluid. It washes your brain. That's why we do yoga exercises because we're flexing your spine, washes your, your brain better. Otherwise, you get Alzheimer's, you get lots of other demented diseases as people get older. You need to do those exercises. These asanas are very good for, it's called CSF. Then there's pleura, there's peritoneum, there's uh, heart is surrounded by fluid. Yeah. Body, a baby grows in a fluid as well. So fluidity is very powerful. And without moisture in the environment, without fluid in your body, there is no electromagnetic connection otherwise. So you need to tap into this. You need to drink water properly. You need to be nicely hydrated. So your water content in your body helps with your further development. It's called evolution, what evolution of your brain, your cell, from physical to subtle body, and finally, electromagnetic frequencies where you connect, because energy is a medium of connection, not the body. Body can't go to the moon even, I mean, we'll take it in the spacecraft, but not to the sun. If you can only take yourself to your sun that Aditya spacecraft has done by making either a robot or something which can resist the fire. But you can relate to it by, in future, what will happen will robots will go, they will have sensual perception to your, your to the human being on earth. So the person can connect. 